Well, hello. Like they said, I am Patterson. I am a chef, and tonight we are talking about foodies. <coughs> Hyphenated. Uh, a serious topic like foodies needs some serious research, so to the internet. I'm still using dial-up, thank you. <laughs> so the internet is telling us that, well, especially Google Images is telling us that foodies are surprisingly two cups of exhibit, uh, three pints of gene, and four gallons of Ina. The search continues. Wikipedia tells us that a foodie is a gourmet, a person who has an ardent or fine interest in food and alcoholic beverages. Well, Wiki, that's really fucking sweet. But when you compare that to Urban Dictionary, you end up getting a douchebag who likes food. <laughs> Urban Dictionary is just right on the money whenever it comes to my opinions about foodies. But guys, that's because I've had some ugly run-ins with some pretty shitty foodies. So, tonight, my shitty foodie friends, redemption, salvation is here. I have devised some pros and cons to help you all be better foodies. So to kick this off with my really shitty sh slides, <laughs> we have to start at the beginning with an understanding. Understand that being a foodie is a hobby. It's a hobby like knitting. Knitting takes patience and practice and knowledge. Foodie hobbies need food porn, those damn Pinterest recipes, a growing cookbook collection, and of course, Anthony Bourdain marathons. Living it is loving it like a stage five clinger. It's what I do, we get shit pay. You stink, you sweat, we have chronic athlete's foot. We have bizarre uses for cornstarch, something our chefs call asslurries. If you want more information on asslurries, come and talk to me later. Willingness to learn versus opinions and biases. Foodies, here's where you can experiment. Indulge your senses. Food experiences hit on all of them. Try new things. You may find out that you like damn uh, venison tendon or sea cucumber, but I will tell you, having an opinion about food and beverage without trying anything makes you look like a stupid, spoiled child, which brings me to a very serious condition, P-E-S. Pronounced piss? Guys, this is picky eater syndrome. Foodies should not suffer from picky eater syndrome, nor should they tolerate sufferers of picky eater syndrome. Mickey D's is right down the street, fuck off. Having balls versus fucking Yelp, guys. If there is a problem, have the balls to say something then and there. Medium rare steak, well done, problem. You have a serious food allergy, major fucking problem. You ordered three ice cubes and you got two. Not a fucking problem. Guys, understand that there is a big difference between a bad day and a bad restaurant. Karma will sort that shit out, your review will not. Words to live by. Don't fuck with the people who cook your food. <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> Speaking of not fucking with people, respect your servers and bartenders. Three dollars an hour sucks. Yeah. My mouth is so dry. <laughs> Tip 20% or more as a good foodie. 30% or more during the holidays regardless. Respect the farmers and the farm workers. These people, thank you. These people work for pennies on the pounds. The next time you bitch about the cost of your heirloom tomatoes, know that the people that picked it can't afford to buy it. Important thing, it is estimated that 70 billion pounds of food is wasted in the US each year. A good foodie will see that browning head of cabbage in the fridge and think, Hmm, kimchi, instead of saying ick and chucking it. This next one, pay attention. Bring a fucking sweater. <laughs> Guys, I am so tired of hearing servers complain or, or customers complain to servers who are sweating into their Chardonnay about how cold it is. Wrap your gram gram up tight for me, please. <laughs> to recap, it is just a hobby. Please watch Tony. Keep on learning. We all know what the fuck Yelp is. Respect your servers, farmers, and farm workers. Waste sucks mouth is still dry, bring a fucking sweater. <laughs> guys, since this is really fast and you guys are all now enlightened, empowered, knowledgeable, good foodies, I have come up with a term that you can use to call out those assholes are who are encouraging foodie douchebaggery. Foodie duty. <laughs> As in, dude, you just foodie duty. So, guys, I am a much better chef than I am at making this shit. So check me out. I'm Hox and Cox at C-O-Q-S. Please, thank you. Bon appetit. Good night.